What's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Today we're back with another video in Studio One today. This is another viewer request, uh, shout out to Plug Nums. I think he, I think I got it right. Um, yeah, he asked me could I make a video on how to import drums in Studio One with your sound kits and also how to side chain within Studio One. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. Now, importing drums is very easy and very simple and I'm gonna show you the easiest way I do it. You know, you can also, you, you can always like search or like go to your file tab up here. I don't know if you can see my, let me move my face. Let me move my face real quick. You can go to your file tab right up here and go to wherever your drum packs or wherever there's um, located, like mine or in my image line for FL Studio. I can just go in there and just, you know, take a drum sample or hi-hat or whatever and drag it in there like that, you know, but that's not, you know, the most optimal way because a lot of people like to use MIDI in order to do it. So what you can do, and I found that's the easy way, and I can't take credit, full credit for this. I wanna give a big shout out to Craftmaster Productions because he made a video on this and it was amazing. So shout out to him, like, you know, but it helped me out, you know, so saying shout out to him. So he's a, he's the studio one expert, <laughs> but you know, shout out to him for making it, making that video because it helped me, it helped me out a lot. Um, So yeah, let's go ahead. What you wanna do is you wanna bring out, get a copy, let's read, do that you want to go to um personas and you will get a copy of sample one sample one is the best way to do it it's basically a sampler where you throw in sample sounds you can edit them and do tweaking blah 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 type stuff but i use it for my drums and hi-hats and snares and all that to make midi files so you go find whatever your hi-hat drum or whatever your kick drum we'll just go to kush drums and we'll just get um my favorite one the punch where is it punch so there's my kick drum uh if you need to turn it up so you can hear it you can double click it and hear the sound that's what it is and what you want to do you want to drag it into right here in the folder let's look just drag it right here in this empty thing below previous and next now the good thing about this when you do this it actually imports the whole folder so you can actually click previous and actually cycle through that folder see so you can cycle through your folder and actually audition and actually audition other sounds within that folder that's in so if i do the same thing if i did it with the claps i can go through all my clap sounds that way i don't have to keep dragging them in and out but if you want to add a new folder what you need to do is you need to go up here and go to initialize and then drag in whatever next folder is because you don't it'll basically layer the sounds in there it just layer them on top of here but it could be cool if you're trying to layer sounds and make layers kick sounds and all that it could be helpful um another thing i like to do is you know bring up my release if you bring the release it'll play out the whole sample and now i like to turn on monophonic that way if i hit the note twice it don't overlap especially good if you're using 808s um by turning it all the way up to r it plays the whole sample and in monophonic just allows it to you know um cut itself every time you hit another note so you, the, the notes don't overlap each other and you get that weird phasing cancellation and woom 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 wobbly sound and also you got a glide and all that stuff too if you want to do 808 glide stuff like that which i can make a video about that if you guys want me to but you know, this is just how to get samples into Studio One. So that's pretty much how I do it. And then with that being said, you can just start playing your notes. You can play it on your MIDI keyboard and you're good to go. Just do MIDI, say that way. So throw it in sample one and just work it with that way. Easiest way and simple. Um, next, we're gonna talk about side chaining. So I made this little loop right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to side chain. And side chain in Studio One is super easy and it's default plugins, basically like almost like FL Studio, but I think in my opinion, a little bit simpler. So Let's just play my little loop. As you can hear my kick is 808 right here. All right, so we wanna side chain them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So first, like always, you wanna go to your, whatever your 808 sound is, and you will get some kind of any, you want to get a plugin with a side chain functionality in it. I'm just going to use the default one because it's default and everybody has it. So, but any plugin, compressor, whatever with a side chain function, you want to get that. So, I'm going to use the, the compressor and I'll put it right here and on the insert tab. So, now we have the compressor and just leave that alone for now. Just put it in the inserts. Now, you want to go to the kick drum, which is right here, and you see where it says send. You press the plus button and then right there it says side chain and you click the side chain of where it is. So, if you had this named the uh, um, we can just name it to 808 and then we'll name this kick drum and then kick now when i go to sins it say side chain and then it say side chain 808 insert compressor because that's what i'm using i click that i'm ready to side chain now if i go back to my compressor the side chain is already set up now i can just tone tone you know dial in my side chain now how i do my side chaining i turn the ratio all the way up 
I bring the knee, make a hard knee. I bring this down, and then I mess with my attack and release until I get a good side chain effect. So. Probably a fast attack, and then. I get a I just want the I just want the, the 808 to duck right when the kick hits and I'll bring up my threshold so it's not so aggressive and that's allowed my kick jump to come through now when we play it all together turn that on Side chain easy, very simple. So there you go, simple tutorial how to add your uh, how to add your kicks and stuff into Studio One. Very simple, very quick, and also how to side chain stuff because hell, it's just, it's that simple too. Side chain is easy in Studio One, just like it is in FL Studio. So a little bit different in my opinion, but it works the same. There's nothing different about it. So hope this helped you guys out for all my Studio One people out there. Um, also shout out to Pluto for this. Um, for this request um if you want to really request you can hit me up on facebook um leave a comment in the video below i'll definitely do best i can and get to you as soon as i possibly can and yeah and also i want to give a shout out to craft matter for showing me that little stu uh, sample one tutorial because that's definitely good i probably put a link in his um channel below so you can check him out as well you know if you're a studio one fan he got a ton of studio one tutorials already made um check him out you know i'm making I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to get mine up there but he's already got a bunch there so he can probably help you out you know i might show some stuff different than he's but shout out to him um good dude um but yeah with that being said i hope you guys enjoy like always you know who it is your boy slim aka mr different not motivated by the money but the like comment subscribe and views and always with that being said i hope you guys enjoy it, and i'll see you guys next time have a good one